Welcome back! Today we're also doing intro to blue team from Hack the Box. And the next challenge is Event Horizon. So in Event Horizon, if you read through the description, it says our, S our CEO's computer was compromised uh, in a phishing attack. So someone sent the CEO or someone uh, has knowledge of the CEO email and therefore they decided to send the CEO an email, phishing email to compromise their computer. Maybe the, C the phishing email contained some attachment uh, that the CEO has downloaded and after they downloaded the attachment they executed the whatever the file there and thus the attacker got access to the CEO computer after that afterwards the attackers took care to clear the PowerShell logs so we don't know what they executed can you help us so part of solving this challenge is understanding the context of the hack so basically the first piece of the puzzle is that there was a phishing email okay targeting the ceo the ceo probably clicked on the link or the attachment and downloaded the attachment the attachment could be an executable file word file pdf file who knows we have we don't have enough information about the nature of the file that caused the compromise the next piece of the puzzle is that the attackers took care to clear the partial logs so here from this statement we can draw conclusion that the attackers got access and then somehow they executed some sort of partial commands to interact with the target and then they cleared the partial logs to clear their tracks the third piece of the puzzle so we don't know what they executed can you help us so here we know what is required from the challenge we want to know what are the system commands or what are the powershell commands the attackers executed on the target okay so here it's kind of post compromise analysis okay so to download the challenge files click on download files and you will be presented with with um uh, you see event horizon zip file this is the password once you download the file extract the file you will have two directories logs and trace format trace format technically empty we go to logs and here we have the log files we can sort them by the size and we can see that there are a bunch of log files even windows event log file with the same size being 68 kilobytes so to save time and to make the analysis easier we actually skip these files for now and we also see some other even windows event log files with size being 1028 kilobytes so we also decided to skip these as well for now and also we have these with 1092 kilobytes and then we have system security and system data archiver so what do we do of interest to our analysis we have actually the microsoft windows partial operational this event windows event log file stores partial events for example module logging and script blocking right so if you want to know what are the partial modules and the partial remote system commands that were executed on the targets we may look into this windows event log file Microsoft Windows events, Microsoft Windows PowerShell operational. It's very hard to say it, right? And we have security here as well. Security stores log on, log off events. And also we have this. This one for the group policy. Yeah. So what do we do now? We're going to start with the Microsoft Windows PowerShell operational as this is the most relevant one with the current challenge. So we open that with Windows event log viewer and we have these okay so let me clear the filter and get back to the default view so when we start analyzing a windows event log file first we sort by time or date and time we can sort oldest to newest or newest to oldest in a reverse chronological order now if you look at the very recent event which, ha which happens to be on 2010, 27, 2020. As you can see, if you look through the description, we see 
the it's the error message and it is actually saying this this script contains malicious content and has been blocked by your antivirus so here we're looking at the 400 4100 event id which indicates that an event or a script has been blocked due to restrictive policy okay now all of these event ids every single one means something it has a description it has something to tell us so 4100 it is for scripts or remote codes that have been blocked due to some restrictive policy in the current scenario invoke mimikatz function has been blocked by the antivirus software if we try to narrow down on these events we can go to filter current log and in the, in, the, in the event IDs, we type 400, 4100, and we click on OK. And now we can see all of the, as you can see, events, which indicate that some script has been blocked to, due to, due to uh, antivirus policy or some other restrictive policy. We sort them uh, newest to oldest. We see here function invoke mimicats has been blocked. Other one, the same mimicats. Has been blocked but if we look at the one which happens to be on 2310 we see another function has been blocked let's take it it's a warning actually right and we see here exception calling invoke with two arguments and this is the command partial bypass script execution policy and here it's trying to download something from github okay so getting back to the challenge we want to know what are the system commands that have been executed right so up until now we know that mimikatz were invoked but blocked by the antivirus so what else we can know let's create the current filter and as you can see we have 149 events so it's going to be time consuming if we scroll all the way through and look into every single one of these events so you want to know now what is the event id by which we will filter these all of these locks so if you look at the notes here i have these nodes and the event ids we can take a look at 4104 which indicates executing partial remote commands okay Hopefully, this event ID will show us the PowerShell commands that have been executed and we will understand what kind of framework we may learn the kind of framework that has been used to execute these commands. So we go back and we filter for one for 4104. We sort these maybe yeah they are on the same date but different hour okay so most recent we take a look at this one and we see a script block text one of one okay scrolling down we see also script block text 37 or 37 so maybe this is part of uh, one unified script that we may need to find this one is 36 out of 37. So what you can do here, guys, you can copy this and Google it. Maybe we stumble upon some sort of um, framework or something. Let's see. Uh, nothing. Okay, let's get back. This one is 37 out of 30, 35 out of 37. So as you can see, the number is decreasing. So it indicates that as we are actually going back in time, we are revealing more of the source code that has been used. So what we're going to do, we're going to sort all this to newest. So we go back and as you can see here, script to block text one of 35 so this indicates the beginning of the script or the partial script that has been executed at the very start we see power up aims to be 
a cleaning house of common Windows privilege escalation vectors that rely cleaning house sorry that rely on misconfigurations. So this is the the framework that has been used, guys, for privilege escalation, which is power up. If we scroll down, now that's it. Now you know what kind of partial framework and the partial commands that have been executed. Now it's time to find the flag. If we scroll down, we see this is the flag. So we copy the flag and we paste it here. And you will get a challenge done. Thank you for watching.